Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we'll be talking about another UV Editor tool. You can find the UV Editor in the Windows menu, UV Editor. If I click it, it'll open the UV Editor here. And we have lots of different things in here that we're talking about lately. The tool we'll be going over in this video is the Smear UV tool. And like with all these tools, I need to have some kind of object with UVs applied to it that I can demonstrate these tools on. So I'm going to minimize the UV editor. I'm going to go to the Sculpting tab, and I'll use the visor for sculpting base meshes. And this window brings up lots of different categories of meshes that come with Maya 2016. So I'm just going to choose one at random, and import it by right-clicking on it. And here we have a horse, of course. So I'll go back to my UV editor with the horse selected. And I'm going to hit this little button here, which hides the texture, and the texture is just this peach color. I'm just going to hide it for now, so it's a little bit easier to see the UVs. So these are the UVs of the horse, and they're all divided up into separated UV shells. All these little sections are called UV shells. So I'm going to go to the Tool menu, Smear UV Tool, and I'll open the Options. I'll move this to the side so we can see our settings over here. I'm going to click Reset Tool to have the default settings. So you can see as I mouse around in my UV Editor, I have this ring that appears around my cursor. And the size of that ring is controlled by the size slider. And that slider by default is has a value of 0.1. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So as I left click and drag, you'll see that what happens is I'm just kind of pushing or smearing the UVs around in the direction of my mouse stroke as I left click and drag. I'll undo that and do it again. Left click and drag and you can kind of see how those UVs are being pushed around. But the size of the brush is controlled by the size slider. If I decrease this down, you can see my brush gets much smaller. Or if you can increase it, and it's huge. <laughs> I'll reset to get back to the default. So the strength slider controls how strong the effect is of the brush on the UVs. The default value is 0.05. I mean, if I increase this, you can see the effect gets kind of crazy if I go too high. Even a value of 0.5 kind of goes a long, long way. So I'm just going to reset that. And you can even type a value in here. So we'll say 0 0.025, so half the effect. And you see the effect is smaller click reset and let's say 0.1 which is double the effect so it gets much stronger I'll click reset again then we have invert if I click the invert checkbox left click and drag you can see that what's actually happening here let me un uncheck invert left click and drag to the left you can see all my UVs are pushing along to the left with my brush right so let me undo that and click the invert checkbox left click and drag to the left again and you can see that they're all moving in the opposite direction toward the right. So that's what the invert checkbox does. And then we have, down here we have two different categories. We'll go to display first, as it's just a checkbox that says show brush ring during stroke. So right now with it checked, when I left click and drag, you can, you can still see the ring around my cursor that indicates the size of the brush. Simply unchecking this, left clicking and dragging, now that ring goes away and you no longer see it while you're left clicking and dragging. And when you let go, the brush comes back. I'll undo that. And I'll check this back on. And then we'll go to fall off. We've talked about the fall off commands briefly with the other tools that we've talked about. This kind of this is kind of a generic fall off control that is used for lots of different tools in Maya that use some kind of brush stroke effect. And I suggest if you want to see a, a much more detailed look at this fall off tool you can look at the cut UV tool this is the one that I first talked about and I went into it in the greatest detail if you click that thumbnail it'll take you to the cut UV tool video but essentially what it is is you're controlling the fall off of the brush if you think about this left side of the box as being the center of the brush and then this shape coming off the left side and to the right side is like a profile of the effect of the brush as it goes to the edge of the circle. So in this case, with the effect, the lot with the curve being up at the top of the box on the left side 
and falling down to the bottom of the box on the right side, what that essentially means is that the effect is strongest in the middle of the brush and it falls off toward the edge of the brush. The tool has a greater effect on the center of the brush than it does on the outer ring of the brush because there's a fall off. And you can adjust this shape. If I were to do the opposite shape, for example, if I pull this little box down, pull this one up, and do like a reverse of what we're currently using. So now you can see the left side of the box is down and the curve goes up to the right side on top. So what we're going to have instead is the opposite, where the outer ring of the brush has the greatest effect and it falls off toward the center of the brush. So you can kind of see that there where the outside ring of the brush has a greater effect than the middle of the brush. So we inverted our fall off in this case. I'm just going to reset this back to the default. But that's essentially the gist of the smear UV tool. As you can see, you can use it to smear your UVs around. If you need to just kind of adjust your UV slightly, and this looks like a tool that would give you the control you need, that's what it's here for. And this button right here on the UV editor toolbar is the button for smear UV tool. Otherwise, you can find it in the tool menu here at Smear UV Tool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Please feel free to comment and like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you're interested in more of this, this kind of content. I also invite you to look at my Patreon page if you're interested in supporting the Maya Toe Belt. It's much appreciated. And thank you again for those who already have. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.